those are the way you want to lift your car because uh, if you got two pairs of rhino ramp ramps two pairs one in the front and one in the back you drive up them you got the whole thing off the ground evenly right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be checking all the fluids on the front and rear differentials which basically the rear the back differential and the transfer case and the transmission just to be on the safe side make sure everything's full should be okay because either I put new seals in it or I put uh, AT205 in the rear differential pinion seal it seems to be okay uh, but this is nice because you can get up on there real quick. Now, if you got a four-wheel drive, you put it in low range, it goes right up there real easy. You know, it's kind of hard to get it up there, nah, you know, with a regular car, but you got it in low range, especially if you put it in four-wheel drive, your wheels won't slip, but I got the locker in the back, so it should be okay. Sometimes if you're trying to get them up all four on a regular car, you'll see one of them that spits out, you know. It won't be the case with this. Well, there she be up there nice and square see it's got set set right there in the center I always give it a couple inches of room it's not too far over in the edge here it's like square and it's still on here all the way um, I always give it a couple inches in front of the tire give me a little bit of head start because even with the locker on this thing it slid a little bit now one thing if you got it in four wheel drive and low low and you lock the front hubs it go up there real easy but a regular car, it's, it's a little more difficult to get the damn thing up on four of these. Uh, you know, unless you got them blocked up or some crap, you know. But uh, I always like using these, especially with this little light vehicle. I don't really trust these things, even though for this, I trust it. But for a heavier vehicle, I don't really trust them because even though they're rated for some ungodly amount of poundage, um, I don't really believe the rating and the other thing is you want to have them square on blocks you don't want to have something where this is sitting on gravel that could chew up the bottom or make it uneven and the other thing is these things are plastic you don't want to you don't want to leave these outside in the sunlight where they could possibly deteriorate so they're always like under there you know in the back that's why I have them back under there so I'm gonna let this thing cool down and uh, we got our uh, mechanics creeper here, which is going to make it nice and easy. We're going to be checking those fluids. And uh, I'm going to probably put a little bit of uh, Dura Lube, like an ounce, in the rear for like uh, automatic and manual transmissions. The Dura Lube, because I got that locker in the rear. And I found out the locker in the rear on this thing, on the... Uh, you know, it's a lock right locker. What it happens it would it with uh, royal purple fluid, it doesn't really act that bad. You might hear you just hear a click, it doesn't like jump around and skip the tire. But I'm figuring maybe a, about an ounce of door lube in here might even improve it even more. Uh, because I know like in my eighty nine Harley transmission, um, it shifts like butter with just an ounce of door lube. You know, people cringe at that thought, but that's kind of throwing another tip in here besides these rhino ramps but these are old they got some new ones out that are real extra heavy duty probably better than these and uh, but I've been using these probably a good 20 years or I don't know maybe yeah I guess close to 20 years I guess close to 20 years over 15 years so this is these are great because I you know I just drive up the damn things you got a lot of room under that sucker, man. That's that's the ticket, right? Anyway, hot chip. I don't know. I put out a video about millennials and Jeeps and crap, and I was like, these guys are freaking hammering the shit out of me, and I'm like, you know, hey, I'm like 60-something years old, man. I'm probably doing more shit than most millennials. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> so anyway, over now.